Good morning. My name is Bill Hoovler. I'm a United States District Judge in the Southern District of Florida. And I have the privilege of speaking to you this morning about the Florida Bar Mentor Program. I am privileged to be doing this this morning as I am an enthusiastic supporter of this idea. When I first uh, entered the practice of law, it was in Philadelphia. And in Pennsylvania at that time, it was necessary to have a six months, what we called a preceptorship. Uh, each admittee or hopeful admittee to the Pennsylvania bar after passing the exam would have to uh, sit and work with a preceptor for six months before they could be admitted. I had to do that and I did that uh, for six months with a firm in Philadelphia. I didn't realize at the time just how significant that was. But when I look today at the practices and uh, what's going on with young lawyers who are forced to go out and be on their own, uh, I realized just how awfully important that preceptorship, which I could call a mentorship also, was to me. And indeed uh, will be to all of those who are involved in the program that the Florida Bar uh, is sponsoring. But before I get into any more detail about that, I, I want to make just a few observations about the practice of law and why this is so important. Indeed, much more important than it was when I entered the practice of law. Today, the bar uh, faces a number of problems. One is a very bad public image. We've had many programs uh, with the Florida Bar and with the local bar associations uh, trying to address the problem of a loss of professionalism, uh, a, loss, a loss of ethics, uh, a loss of reputation, and uh, eventually, uh, if we're not careful, uh, a loss of our independence. Uh, as I think most of us are aware, in many of the, re several at least, of the recent legislatures, there has been an effort uh, by the legislature to bring the control or to take control of the bar away from the Supreme Court and the lawyers themselves and place certainly parts of it in the hands of legislative bodies. Uh, that must never happen. And one of the ways we can prevent that from happening is in our emphasis for the promotion of professionalism and ethics uh, to adopt this mentor program uh, as an effort to teach young lawyers and, if necessary, older lawyers uh, about how to practice law, uh, how to be professional, how to be ethical. The qualifications to be a mentor are demanding. And we want only the best uh, to be mentors. Uh, I think it was William Gladstone who said, uh, example is the school of mankind and most will learn at no other. Well, the example of, uh, of good lawyers, of professional lawyers, of moral lawyers uh, will mean a great deal to the mentees that uh, will be taking these programs. And so uh, I want to encourage the mentors who are viewing this tape uh, to feel that you are indeed involved in part of a public service. Your diligent and professional practice of law is indeed a public service, but uh, acting in the role of a mentor, a guide, a, a father confessor, if you will, at times, uh, will be of invaluable service to the bar and the people who are your mentees. Uh, 
I can't think of many things that, a, that an experienced and competent lawyer can do that would be more valuable than helping other lawyers uh, achieve uh, professionalism and, and ethical conduct uh, by example and by teaching. The mentor will be, uh, as outlined in the program, a teacher, a connector. He'll be helping the mentee make contacts, how to deal with the Bar Association, how to become part of the Bar Association, uh, and other contacts uh, that are important to the practice of law. And lastly, uh, of the three important functions of the mentor, uh, and probably as important, if not more important than the others, the, uh, the teaching of humanity uh, to the young lawyers, uh, to the mentees. When I say humanity, I'm talking about morality, uh, good conduct, uh, being interested in your client, uh, as distinguished from being interested in only in the monies you will receive from the client. And so the mentors should make a, as an important part of their program uh, the teaching of care, of kindness, uh, of consideration for their clients first, but also for the people with whom they're dealing. Uh, because you can be effective and a gentle person and it accomplish a great deal more uh, than being otherwise. To the mentors, you will be part of helping lawyers do what they do well. Uh, and I can think of few uh, higher callings in the practice of law than to try and improve the practice by helping others. Uh, and so I commend the mentors in helping other lawyers to understand the practice, to do what they do better, uh, to be civil with each other, to teach them the importance of courtesy, uh, indeed, the practical values of professionalism, as well as the moral, you are doing a service to the bar that is hard to calculate in its enormity. I would like all of you to keep this in mind, that what we do is seek justice. It doesn't matter whether we are closing a deal on a house, writing a will, or trying a case in a large panel courtroom. When we do our job well, when we practice our profession well, we are seeking justice. We are part of a system that is vital to the success of this country. Lawyers are vital to the success of our system. James Madison said that justice is the end of government. It's the end of civil society. It ever has been and ever will be pursued until it is obtained or liberty is lost in the pursuit. That is just how important what you're doing is. We don't think of it from day to day, but we should. And we should make this an important part of our teaching of the mentees that we are all involved in the pursuit of justice in whatever form we practice. And when we do it well and professionally, then we have achieved what we seek to achieve, achieve by this program. It's an outstanding program. It's one whose time has come, and I urge you to become an active part of it uh, in fulfilling its objectives. Thank you.